Good morning, everyone. Thank you for attending the 2004 symposium on uh, computational immunology with focus on modeling mucosal immunity. The symposium is part of a week-long summer school in modeling mucosal immunity designed to introduce immunologists and infectious disease experts to computational modeling techniques. The summer school and symposium are being offered by the Center for Modeling Immunity to Enteric Pathogens at Virginia Tech, one of four centers of the NIID-funded Modeling Immunity for Biodefense program. The other MIB programs are also represented here today. Uh, we have the Boston University, Duke University, uh, center represented by uh, Dr. Tom Kepler, uh, currently at Boston University, and we have the Mount Sinai Yale uh, Center, uh, the Prime Center, represented by uh, the PI for that program, Dr. Stuart Selfon. Um, fortunately, the Rochester uh, team could not be here today. We also have uh, some uh, other distinguished speakers uh, from MIT and, and UVA, and I'll uh, introduce the first speaker later. Uh, first, I would want to make some remarks related to uh, the week-long summer school. During this week, we have discussed at length types of computational modeling applied to understanding immunological processes, both uh, ordinary differential equation-based modeling as well as uh, agent-based modeling, uh, specifically how to model uh, massive interacting, uh, interacting systems. We have tackled RNA-seq and microarray analysis uh, for network inference and how to use that data to build network models and uh, how to calibrate those models. And we have discussed analysis of high-dimensional flow and mass cytometry data and how to integrate these uh, diverse data types in complex computational models spanning several spatiotemporal scales. Today we'll have a talk that focuses on multi-scale modeling not necessarily on, on an immune system, but uh, a system that is relevant uh, to immunology. It has been a very productive week, combining theoretical and data-driven approaches in an iterative cycle of modeling, hypothesis generation, and experimentation uh, using abductive reasoning and systems biology cycles. Uh, the quality of the attendees has been outstanding. I was very impressed uh, by uh, each session I've attended during the summer school, both the lectures in the morning as well as the workshops in the afternoon, I have to say that uh, it was unusual to have less than uh, 10 questions per session. And that uh, made things uh, as opposed to a monologue, a dialogue between the attendees and the presenters, and certainly that's what we're looking forward to. Also, I wanted to uh, remind you that this afternoon we'll announce the recipients of the Guide Student uh, Postdoc uh, Poster Awards. And, um, and that, that will happen uh, before my presentation. Um, and now it is uh, my pleasure uh, to introduce our keynote speaker, uh, Professor uh, Lauenberger. The title of his presentation is In Vivo Systems Analysis of Inflammatory Pathophysiology. Please join me in welcoming uh, Dr. Lauenbarger. 